is your internal state at the mercy of your unconscious? Stay tuned. This is Damon Card from NLP Gym, NLP Mind Hack, Invisible Anchors. If you haven't already, please click subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can get these videos on a regular basis. Is there such thing as invisible anchors? Anchors that you see, hear, or feel that trigger a state in you and you're not even aware of it. For those of you who don't know what anchoring is, anchoring in NLP is when you experience a state, like an intense emotional state. It doesn't have to be very emotional, but you, you experience an intense state. And when that happens, either a touch or a sound or a sight or a smell uh, or even a taste accompanies that sensation or that, that internal state, that intense state that ha may have nothing to do with the state itself, but when you repeat that stimulus, you repeat that touch, smell, taste, or something you hear or something you see, it triggers that state again. Now, NLP did not create anchoring. This is a naturally occurring phenomenon in human experience. It's, it's just something that NLP was able to, uh, to code it was just something NLP was able to model that uh, Bandler and Grinder recognized that something was happening here and they coded it and then gave it a, turned it into a technique that could be replicated, the results could be replicated. And that's the basis for NLP modeling. So what happens is we actually have a lot of unconscious anchors. I'm right now in Los Angeles where I used to live and I haven't lived here for 13 years. But when I walk around here, I get triggered, my state gets triggered probably by memories, things that I don't even, I'm not conscious of, I'm not consciously remembering these things, but I walk around here and I see stuff that maybe I was going through intense states at the time and something I saw, something I heard, something about this place is familiar. So when I walk around here, it triggers a familiar state for me, but also sometimes it's triggering other things for me as well. It's like there are times when you walk into your office and immediately you feel like doing work or you walk it into a certain room in your home and you immediately feel like doing something in particular. A lot of times you're anchored to that context. So anchors can be contextual, they can be location. It's not necessarily, you know, I have to anchor on my hand and I have to touch that spot. It's really important to become aware of these invisible anchors, anchors that are pretty much unconscious. So how you can do that is when you feel your state suddenly shift and you're not sure why, you can back up, rewind the tape, so to speak, and what did you see, hear, feel, maybe touch, taste, or smell before your, your state suddenly shifted? This happens a lot where people go into collapsed states where they don't even know what triggered it. And a lot of times that's because there's some sort of unconscious anchor or an invisible anchor they weren't aware of. The more you understand, the more you become aware of when your states are shifting, the more awareness you bring to that, the more you're gonna understand what shifts your state. The more you understand that, the more control you will have over your states so that you can be in a more optimal state when you want to be. The also, the great thing about anchoring is you can anchor positive states, resourceful states, so that if you suddenly experience a state shift into a negative or unresourceful state, you can fire your own anchor to bring back an optimal and a resourceful state. State management can be a very powerful thing, especially when it comes to any type of performance or presentation. Uh, for athletes, it's, it's amazing. If you, have to, if you have to give a presentation at work or give a talk, it's also an amazing thing to, to, to have at your hands, your fingertips. Also, if you're in, in, in anything creative and say you sometimes have trouble getting into the mood to say sit down and write or to paint a picture or whatever it is, you can also fire an anchor to get you into that state so you don't have to try to like work yourself into it. So be aware of your state shifts. They're not happen happening randomly, even though they might feel that way. Know that something triggered it. There's always something going on internally or that's triggering it, like you see something, a memory in your mind, and a lot of times this can be unconscious, or you see something around you, or you hear a sound, you hear a laugh. Your states can be triggered by almost anything, and the key to that is understanding it, not just thinking, oh, it came out of nowhere. Get an understanding of it, and you will get control of it, and you'll be in charge of your own states. Having the flexibility to change your own state at will, that is amazingly empowering and that kind of flexibility in life is something few people have. Check out our website, nlp-gym.com. There you can sign up for the Ultimate Practitioner Training that we're having January 2017. Follow us on Facebook for real-time updates on upcoming workshops and free practice sessions that I hold in Santa Cruz, California. If you like this video, please click like right down here and leave me a comment or a question. I will follow up with you.
Stay tuned to the end of this video so you can see how you can get your hands on a free NLP online training. Take care.